Hey guys, um, so today I'm going to tell you about this one place that I really want you guys to go to. I've gone there a lot during the summertime because that's the only time it's open. It's only open during the summertime. It's super fun and it's really nice. It's a nice relief from the daily gnaws of summer. <sighs> Which you'd actually think think would be super super nice but a lot of times it's actually super boring and full of chores and spring cleaning it's not actually during the springtime because it's actually summertime and <laughs> anyway I'm not gonna go on that kind of rant well anyway I'm going to tell you about this place in southern Utah now you're probably gonna ask me Taylor What's in Southern Utah? There's nothing in Southern Utah. I know. A lot of times, there's nothing in Southern Utah. Southern Utah is stupid. Sorry. I used to live there, so... Yeah. I act like it's stupid because I think it is. Southern Utah is horrible. I always say, when I move out of my parents' house, I am moving far away from you. As a matter of fact, I'm moving, like, to the opposite kind of place than Utah. Because, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to tell you about this place in southern Utah, and I love it so much, I actually might live there. Not likely. Now, what are you... Now, you're probably asking yourself, if you're going to tell us about it, just tell us about it. Because, honestly, you're not telling us. I know I'm not telling you. I'm trying to get there. This place is called Vail Pool. It's in Vail, near St. George. If you don't know where it is, look it up on Google Maps. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. But if you don't know where it is, seriously, guys, just look it up. It's that easy. Anyway. So, it's called Vail Pool. There are a lot of stuff you can do there. And super fun stuff, in my opinion. You can go wandering around in the stream looking for crawdads because there's they're right by a river it's a stream it's a stream not a river because southern utah people are like uh, they're like to it they're like talking about a creek yeah it's a stream and it's like it's a river and it's like no that's a creek is it what what how do you how do you uh anyway not going on that rant either. <laughs> so, Veil Pool. What can you do there besides this crawdad thing? Well, as by its name, you can go swimming in their really nice pool that is um, fed. I say fed. The water comes from a natural spring, which is nice, but it still has like the net the required stuff in it. Chlorine and chemicals. <laughs> My face when I see chemicals. Ugh. No. Yeah. Sorry. Not going on that rant either. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, you can go rock climbing. I th they used to have a zip line, but I don't know if they still do that. I don't remember. I haven't been there a while, and I need to go. They changed ownership, and I've only gone there once since. And I'm like, ah, oh, I I know it's still really nice, and they've actually like done a lot to it. They now have um glass bricks on the bottom, on the sides of the pool, like in the pool walls and floor that are super nice. And inside of them are like, if you don't like insects, don't look at them. They're like frogs. And all that just a bunch of stuff like that and then but besides that and you wouldn't notice if i didn't tell you look for them they're awesome anyway besides that there's camping they have their own little restaurant it's just you buy food there and it's really nice food their fries are to die for <laughs> are to die for but anyway not going on that rant either. <laughs> uh, and you don't 
you don't have to camp there. I mean, there are other places you can stay in St. George, or you can go to Bigger Dam and camp, or you can go to Homestead Ranch Resort and be all super fancy and expensive and get a cabin, rent a cabin there, because they have cabins and it's super nice. It's worth the money, but it's still expensive. It's like $200. <laughs> the only time I've gone there, I was free because I'm his best friend. Not really. <laughs> Cheating. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going on that rant either. Um, there are trails, there's hiking, you can go to the Baker Reservoir. I can only say Baker Dam because that's what people that, that live there call it. And I used to live there, so it's like, it's not Baker Dam, it's Baker Reservoir. It's all fancy now fluctuates in size. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so bigger reservoir, which you can do stuff and you can go to Enterprise and they have their own reservoir and they you can catch fish there. I've never caught a fish there, but back then I had bad luck. <laughs> anyway, um although I did catch a lot of cro um claws from like crawdads or something. I don't know what they were actually from, but I thought it was from crawdads. Anyway, um, there's a lot of camping spots. You can go to Pine Valley and camp up in Pine Valley. Um, you can camp in some of the campsites in Snow Canyon. There's just a bunch of places that you can go to a camp and <clears throat> there are a few hotels, there are hotels in St. George, just a bunch of stuff, and there's a lot of places, and then there's the Slice of Vale, which is like a pizza slash pasta slash just a bunch of food that's really nice. I know they're, they, I know the owner, they're nice, they're cool people, and then there's Slice, um, not Slice, I keep trying to say Slice of Vale, Vale Pies, which is like as the name suggests, they sell pies and other stuff that I don't know. I've only bought their pies, so I don't know what else they I don't know what else they sell. Um <laughs> Yeah. Um <clears throat> and <sighs> um there are restaurants in St. George, like Olive Garden and Chick-fil-A, Panda Express, Panda Garden. Check out Panda Garden if you like Chinese food. It's amazing. I love Panda Garden. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, by the way, I'm not sponsored ever. I'm never sponsored. I would tell you if it was, but I'm not. Anyhow, so yeah, go check out Vail Pool. It's amazing, beautiful area. You're like, you Southern Utah is so dead. Bleh. I'm like, trust me, there are some really nice spots in Southern Utah. Like, honestly, you'd really not think there was, but Vail Pool is like in a, I don't want to say canyon, but it's kind of, it's a bit, it's in between canyon and gorge, so it's like, it's not huge, but not tiny, and it's like super green, because it's right by a little river, <sighs> anyway, go check it out, thanks, bye!